Hello everyone, it's Monica and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make a slimline card with a spring charm a paper collection by Craft O'Clock. So as you can see, this collection has beautiful colors and I think it's perfect for the card I want to make. So I already got the card uh, base uh, with the top uh, fold over here and I've got a mat and layer. So let me add here the mat first. This one is slightly, I think five millimeters smaller than my, my card base. And that's how I like to make my cards. So let me put this one first and then and the layer I would uh, I want to distress the edges of the layer so I need my tool let me grab my tool so I'm using this tool by uh, Tim Holtz uh, and it's really nice you can distress the edges also with your scissors if you prefer this way I actually like my little tool and it's really handy so what I'm going to do I will distress the edges first and then I will create the false stitching and this time I will do some uh, stenciling. I'm going to actually use my uh, paste to uh, add some texture to my card. So let me put this away. Let me just this, uh, do the false stitching. It doesn't have to be really straight and sometimes I like to do like a wavy patent on my card and it's all up to you how you want to do it or maybe you don't like it and that's fine as well it's all down to your creativity so as you can see i hope you can see it i've got the stressed edge uh, and also i've got that false stitching which i've done with my little handy tool so this one is done and now um I want to use this stencil to add a little bit more interest to my background. So this one is from Tim Holtz uh, and it says a uh, flourish and the number. Uh, I had it for a very long time and as you can see uh, it's well loved <laughs> stencil. Let me see, it doesn't matter which side uh, you want to use. I will use this uh, Ultra Sparkle Paste by, uh, by Cosmic Shimmer. It's a green one and because the collection has a very similar green in uh, on the papers, I think it will look really nice. And I will just add a little bit of that paste here and there so it's not going to be that much. It will be covered as well with my composition but let's see look at this it will look really nice and i want to add a little bit on the bottom here in the corner opposite corner uh, just to give a little bit uh, more texture to this project i haven't done this for a long time and i remember uh, crafty seas were actually uh, thinking about using paste because they've uh, bought some from a craft uh, crafters companion and they were thinking how to use it so maybe if they're going to wash then they will be able to see that you can use it on different products so i will uh, clean up my stencil and i will let it dry and uh, then i will be back with the other bits and pieces so my paste is completely dry and uh, I think I didn't tell you which uh, color is it. So it's Cosmic Shimmer Ultra Sparkle Paste and this one is a uh, sea green. So that's the one I used for this one. So let me adhere it to my um, mat and then we can do the composition on this one. So I added the glue only like a centimeter off the edge because of the distressed edges. I want them to be slightly upwards just to give more interest and more texture into this card because I haven't done uh, this kind of cards for a very long time. So I thought, yeah, I think it's about the time to do this. 
right so uh, now i've got some elements which i cut out there are actually a lot of them on the side um all of the elements are from the same collection as i said um before so i'm just trying to see which one would be perfect for this one so of course i'm going to layer them and i think i like this one i already add the uh, purple eyelet to this one so i think i will definitely use it so let me let me actually add it so again uh, my card is going to be really uh the dimensional so i'm adding quite a lot of foam pads and because at the end you will see that this card will be actually in a box so i don't have to think much about okay how much um volume i'm going to add to this card because uh, my box is deep enough to fit this one so i hope uh, you will like this project and yes that's something different using a little bit of mixed media and i think i'm going to add this uh, i've got this string which i'm going to thread through this eyelet and i think it will look really nice so let me tie this one a little bit and i'm going to tuck it ever so slightly on the side and i always add a little bit of glue just to give more strength to this project because i think this one is going to be for my mom i'm going to see them uh, uh, only for a short weekend and yeah the mother's day back home is coming up so i was thinking that i need something special for my mom so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this one as well, or maybe bigger. Just trying to see and think which one will be best. Or maybe I'm going to cut a, a few more. So I've got some extra elements and now uh, let me put everything together. Okay, I'm going to add this one. And of course adding more foam part just to lift it ever so slightly and and i'm thinking to add a flower but i'm not sure which one i've got quite a few in my box um i think i might add that beautiful purple one just don't want to go any darker than this i think this one will be fine and I'm thinking also to add a few small ones. So let me grab this my small box. Uh, actually, it's a jar. I hope nothing's going to fall. I've got this jar full of uh, beautiful flowers. And these are small ones. So let me just uh, take a few of them. This one is way too pink. Yeah, I like those lighter pink color. I think this one will go very well. So I'm keeping those ready. Because I've got other ones as well. I've got this ones. But yeah, I will keep all of them ready on the side. Just to uh, see which one is going to work better. Okay, and now I think it's time to add this big flower so i can create the composition so um as you can see i've got quite a few layers already i've got matte layer and that tag that um floral composition underneath and i'm going to add some uh, leaves now i love those long ones but i think they're still a little bit too long but what i'm going to do i'm going to save that bottom part of that leaf and i'm going to uh, keep it for for later i'm sure i will be able to use that so i'm adding that i think i will add those flowers maybe i will tag some of those blue ones underneath here and i have to think about the sentiment as well where am i going to put that because um i want to keep this one because it's for my mom and uh, this is 
a Polish sentiment, so I'm thinking to keep it here or, or I will put it there. Okay, I'm not sure yet. Let me let me uh, try to work out the bottom composition, that part, and see if it's going to work for me or not. I'm going to add this little leaf. You see, you can snip into your leaves and you uh, into your flower, floral compositions and keep them for a little bit uh, and see maybe it will be actually handy later on. And in this case, it was actually handy. So I might extend that composition further down. But for now, I think I'm going to add here that little pink flower just here because I think it works for me and of course every one of us is slightly different so we like different things and what works for me wouldn't work for you maybe <laughs> but that's the way it is I might actually keep it here or maybe without it uh, I don't know yet so let me keep uh, working on my composition and adding more things I uh, need more leaves and I'm going to stay with the same type of leaf and again i'm going to tuck it here but uh, for first i need to um bend them a little bit because i want them to look as natural as possible okay i'm going to do this way and as you can see i'm using uh, for those flowers i'm using a uh, hot glue and for other things like leaves i'm um, using pva glue and you could all adhere with the same type of glue but i'm doing it just for speed and because i want to keep it as short as possible and i still want you to see what i'm doing so yes and again i think i like to add the, that blue one here yes I think it will be okay and uh, let me see let me see I really want to add this one I might add it on top of that leaf or here see sometimes sentiments are way too big I will keep it here for a moment and see if it's going to be okay or not. Uh, what else? I was thinking, uh, yeah, and maybe this one will work actually because I wanted to add that butterfly. And with the sentiment over here, if I add uh, the butterfly, it will look okay, I think. Should be like this. And also, I've got another bow with the same, from the same string as I used uh, over here for my tag. And this one is quite long. Let me actually redo it. Um, and it will look, I think, really nice together with this card. So, and I like when the bow is actually um, quite big. And I like to use string, not always ribbons or seam binding ribbon. I need to add it a bit more under that flower so again I'm going to keep it like this for now to see to think a little bit longer about if I like it or not I need some smaller leaves maybe mm. or I will just snip a little bit of that because still think like I need a bit more details in all my card and you can add more leaves underneath here uh, you could add more flowers i like the small one actually or under i'll add that yeah Okay, and I think I don't need those so I can put them aside and I'm I think I'm happy with this sentiment to be here no I think I got used to it that it's already here so I will keep it here mm. 
I'm going to keep it here and I think I need extra foam pad underneath a little bit over here because otherwise it will just collapse so I'm adding that just to make sure that it's secure and I'm adding that the butterfly as well my tweezers are somewhere underneath the pile of things i have on the side i think i like this bow so let me add it to this composition i think i need to raise this flower a little bit yes i'm going to press it a little bit maneuver my bow And it's fine. I like it. Uh, let me see if I can still add a little bit more of uh, elements. And uh, but I think that's more than enough. We've got this B. No, I think that's it. I'm happy with it. So let me show you the finished card. Very quick and easy card. You can see that it's slim line card with a few layers some um paste which i run through the stencil and it gives that really nice and rich shine to my uh my card i've i use a quite big tag and i layered composition on the top uh, i added the string uh, and i created the bow and uh, the string is here as well sentiment um, and it will go into this box so let's see how my card will look in the box i think it's so super special yes and i am i'm sure my mom will love it so this is a special card for my mom i created in a uh, slim line shape in a box and uh, i use a craft o'clock uh, collection called spring charm as you can see beautiful floral and spring looking card with a touch of shine so let me know what do you think about this card uh, do you have this collection do you like craft o'clock papers because quite a few of my uh, followers are uh, into craft o'clock papers which i'm really so happy about so thank you so much for watching let me know what do you think about this slimline card and i will see you in my next videos bye for now